what is up guys how are you today this is your girl lady t the life coach and i am back welcome to my channel if you are watching my video um i have something to speak to you guys about today and it's a metaphor it's something that i that i came across that i was thinking about in my mind and then all of a sudden I wanted to elaborate on it because it just the thought just came across my mind. So the metaphor is to hold the door. Now when you talk about holding the door, I, I often think about how when I'm going somewhere and I'm, you know, going into a building, a building and you know, somebody's behind me, they're coming up close to me and they're behind me and they're getting ready to come in too, I hold the door for them. Or vice versa, or somebody see me coming up behind them and then they hold the door for me. And what made me think about that is because I think about that in relation to our lives as well. Like when we see, you know, that we've uh, accomplished a certain amount of things in our life, we're at a certain point where we want to be. And, you know, I always say, you know, pull somebody else up, you know help somebody else out, like hold the door. Like if you see somebody going through stuff and they're trying their best to come up and you have information to share, if you have resources to give, if you have anything that you can, you know, that can help them out, hold the door open. Don't let the door close in their face because that's always been rude, right? Don't let the door close in their face. Hold the door open for somebody else so that it won't shut in their face. Because a lot of times it's hard for people when they're starting out, when they're trying to be successful, when they're trying to be productive. But if you've already been there before, if you've already done this, you can, you can hold the door open for somebody else. And I'll take that even further. You can even open the door. If you are in a position to open the door for somebody else because you know how to get there and what to do, then open the door too. Don't be selfish with your information. Don't be selfish with your resources. Don't be selfish, selfish with, you know, the stuff that you know can help somebody else out. Oftentimes, I see this a lot. Yeah, so I see where there's times when people, you know, you can just see it on their faces and their expressions and how they respond when people ask them to help them, you know. And it shouldn't be like that. Like, you should be always ready and willing to come to the aid or assistance of somebody else. Because there might be a time when you are in the same position and you may need the same help. So it's always good to lend a hand, you know, it's always good to lend yourself services to other people. Uh, the Bible says that charity covers a multitude of sins and so does love, you know. So we wanna always remember to show that love to people. You know, love conquers all, you know, and in you, you know, assisting and in you helping and in you pulling somebody, somebody up out of their, you know, their situations or, you know, putting them, you know, uh, a step forward from where they already act to make them, you know, their situation a little bit better. You know, that's, that's a blessing for them. And it's also a blessing for you too. It's also giving, listen, giving could never do you no harm. Helping can never do you no harm. It can only make your life better. It can only um, bless you because giving is a blessing. Helping is a blessing. Serving, it's a blessing. It is a blessing to serve. If you're not giving, you're not living. And it is better to give than to receive. And as soon as we as people, you know, and I'm going to say black people because that's, that's usually who I'm around. I don't see that that much. And as soon as we start showing that, that's when things are going to change in our lives. A lot of us don't want to help each other. A lot of us don't want to come to the aid of each other and pull each other up and out. You know, we don't want to do that. We want to, you know, make sure that we step on somebody else's head, you know, so that we can just continue to stay up. But we need to be holding that door open so that somebody else can walk through that door. We need to be opening up that door of opportunity for somebody else when we can. There is nothing wrong with helping other people with, again, like I said, paying it forward. There's nothing wrong with that. It makes you greater than who you think you already are when you do that. When you give and serve and share and you're charitable, that makes you one of the greatest people on this earth. This is what God is looking for us to do. I mean, we are not here for ourselves. We're literally here to help 
serve other people? What can we do to better somebody else's life? That's what we're here for. And that's what we need to consider when it's time to lend that hand. You know, the Bible says, you know, we are the lenders and not the borrowers. We're the head and not the tail. We're above and not beneath. This means that we are able and in a position to help somebody else. That's, that's all that means. We don't, he doesn't make us lenders and, you know, the head and above just so we can stay on top of the world and just, you know, leave everybody else down there beneath us. That's not the way, that's not the way that works. We're not here for that. And, and, and if anybody's thinking that way, I'm sorry. That's very, very, very selfish because it should never be thought of like that. It should never, ever be thought of like that. Oprah gives. You know, Ellen gives when she sees other people, you know, uh, helping animals or helping other people. She always calls people on her show and she, you know, wants to give back to them for, for their sacrifice and what they did. Uh, Tyler Perry just opened up his new studios, giving other people an opportunity. He left that door open for others to walk through that door. For people who never acted before and it's their first time having an opportunity to do something with their career or with their gift. And their lifelong dream. He's left that door open for them to be able to do it. Oprah, you know, this these people are, are way on top. They're on top. But they still choose to reach back down and to get somebody else. And if they can do it, who are we? Who are we? Not that we're beneath them, but I'm just saying, if they have reached so much in their life, and if they're on the level that they're on, who are we that we can't pull somebody else up, if that we can't hold that door open to let somebody else go through? Who are we that we can't share and give and serve and help? Who are we that we can't do that? That's what we're supposed to do. We make God proud when we do these type of things, when we're not selfish. Selfishness is horrible, but to be selfless, not thinking about yourself all the time, but thinking about somebody else, that's when you're really doing something. That's when you're really living. When you care more about other people than you care about your own self. When you care more about their well-being than yours. That's what we're supposed to be doing. That's why I'm doing what I do. I want to give. I want to give good advice. I want to encourage people, you know what I'm saying? To think different, to be, to be different, to do different. Not that I'm so perfect, but as I speak to you, I'm also speaking to myself to remind myself, this is what I'm here for. This is what I need to do so that I can continue to be blessed. And the more you give, the more you're going to receive. You, are, you When you give... And when you share and when you help and when you serve, you will never have to worry about running out of anything. You will never have to worry about running out. You will never run out. You will always have. And when you have to give, God will give you more. Because why? You are sharing. You're giving. You're leaving that door open for somebody else. And that's what it's all about, guys. That's what it's all about. Don't allow yourself to, to be selfish. Don't allow yourself to be self-centered and egotistical and vain as if you're on top of the world and everybody's beneath you. That is a horrible, horrible way to be. And we don't want to get caught up with being that. Even if we get the, the car in the house and the career that we want, even when we get that, reach that hand down, hold that door open, open that door for somebody else. So you will see how gratifying that is when you're doing for somebody else. You'll see how gratifying it is. You'll see how good it makes you feel. And guys, listen, it's nothing more important than giving to other people. There's nothing more important. With the little that you have or the, or the greatness that you have, there's something to give all the time. There's always something to give. Even if it's just a smile, even if it's just a hello, even if it's just kind words, there's always something to give. We all have things that are inside of us that we're, that we're able to give to other people. We all have it. And so, guys, I just want to encourage you today. Give. 
And the Bible says it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over, shall men give unto your bosom. Meaning you're going you're gonna to get from other people. They're going to give you. So don't worry about people superseding you. That's okay if they do. That's okay. What you, what you have, be content with what you got until you get more. But if you give, you're definitely going to get more. That's how it works. God has a system. And he has principles that we ought to live by. And if we follow his principles, we won't want for anything. We won't worry about nothing. Never. We'll always have it. So I just want to encourage you guys, listen, give. Pay it forward. Do that. And you'll see that your outcome will be much more beneficial to you than you can ever imagine. Your outcome. You'll have the prosperity that you want. I was looking at an a inspiration once, and, and uh, Bill Proctor said that if you want to become wealthy, give. If you want to become wealthy, help somebody else get wealthy. If you want to be successful, you want to be prosperous, you help somebody else to prosper. That's how it works. You're not, you're, you're not going to lack when you give. It does not work that way, guys. It doesn't work that way. Too many of us are too selfish. See somebody else doing something and they don't want to support because we think they're going to do better than us. Why wouldn't you want somebody to do better than you? I don't mind people doing better than me. You know why? Because people that do better than me, they're an inspiration to me. They're the reason why I keep on going. They're the encouragement that I need to just keep pushing forward. That's who I need. So that shouldn't be a, a weapon. It shouldn't be a threat to you. Somebody else more successful than you. It shouldn't be. All right, guys. This is your girl, Lady T, the Life Coach. And I am just here to remind you guys, listen, I always got this good, good for you guys. It's good stuff because I know what I'm saying is right. I'm teaching, you know, morals and principles, godly principles and right from wrong. And we all know this stuff is just that I'm just another avenue to remind you of it. Because when I, like I said, when I tell you guys, I tell myself the same thing too. So it ain't like I'm all perfect. No, because I got my little schisms too. But I'm saying, as I tell you, I also remind myself the same thing so I can keep my own self on track with giving. Sometimes I can be a little something too. But as I speak to you, it helps me to improve who I am. So we all in this thing together, helping to improve one another, lifting each other up, opening that door for one another, holding that door open for one another, reaching down and pulling each other up. That's what we're doing. That's what we're here for. It's 2020. Ain't no need for selfishness. We're going to work together to help each other out and support one another. You do it and they're going to do it for you. All right, guys, don't forget, like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. I do appreciate each and every one of you who do support me. And I will see you guys on the next video. All right, guys, bye-bye.